that she ran to the west side And though much was stolen, much still abides And I know she'd rather keep her distance But it's time move Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel We're gonna just jump right into it today As you can tell by the title We're talking about how to set up for a facial client So of course first we're going to use some hand sanitizer get ourselves a pair of gloves and put our gloves on and we're gonna do this to set up and if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button now definitely definitely join the family so first what I like to do is start off by turning on the hot towel warmer um, mainly because it takes a minute to heat up so you want that to be um, heating up while you're getting set up So then you're gonna grab your towels I keep mine under my bed as you can see and um, You're going to I mean pick as many as you need for However many clients you need them for and you will know how many towels you need or how many you use in your facials and you just grab those and then we're gonna head over to the sink and I like to use a little stainless steel bowl um, to like transfer my towels just because it's a little more sanitary so you're gonna wet them up um, I like to use hot water just because it heats the process a little or it makes the process a little faster in terms of heating them um, and then I use this method that I learned in school which is so great it's called the um, hamburger hot dog hot dog so you fold it into one like hamburger style then you fold it into a hot dog and then you roll it up roll it up roll it up as I'm gonna show you um, in a second and it just looks a lot better it rolls out better when you're using it for clients also when you roll them up like this and you have like a bunch of towels in the towel warmer they fit better this way then you want to squeeze them out for any excess water you definitely don't want your towels dripping because um, it'll just you can burn the client it'll just drip <laughs> so no um, then you're gonna put them back in the bowl and this is how you'll carry them to your towel warmer and then you're gonna just sit them in there any way you want especially if you're not like packing this up fully just whatever space but it holds a bunch of towels like you can put them on top of each other side by side it works very great and then I'm going to remove um, the covers right now just to start my bedding So you want two sheets. You want a fitted sheet and you want a flat sheet. Um, I think the perfect size to fit, you, I, mas, uh, I guess like an average massage table or bed are a um, twin size sheets. Um, yeah, that's what I believe it is. I can't fully remember, but yeah, this, they'll fit perfectly. Or you can get um, them off of Amazon that says, like massage or spa bed sheets and those fit perfectly to your bed too um, you can iron your sheets or steam them if you want to get the wrinkles out but it's just very time consuming for me so let me tell you girl I'm not doing all of that I just make it super neat super tight so that way you can't tell the wrinkle like they almost disappear in terms of like the top of the bed like when the client actually gets in the bed and lay down it looks very neat and because the other parts are going to be covered by the, bl the blanket anyway so yes work smarter not harder okay also you're going to grab another towel this towel is going to go at the head of the bed it's going to be used for a few different things to um for the client to lay their head on that so they're not directly on the sheet and then also for you to wipe your hands on and then you're gonna grab a spa robe, a fresh one. You're gonna set that out for the guest to change into. And also a um, disposable shower cap or hair net, whatever you like to call it, to protect their hair. And then a new headband or fresh 
headband um, I do use these I just wash them you know and continue to use them and that will kind of secure so once they you put the head net on then you put the headband on like obviously around it <laughs> and it really protects their hair And then you're going to put your warm, cozy, fuzzy <laughs> blanket back on. Um, I think I may have had one guest who sits on top of it, but most of the time, every guest will like to get under it. So make sure it's cozy. Um, I do have, the reason I have the black sheet under, I explained in a video before, I have a mattress topper on my bed, so it's like memory foam, so I keep that covered. And now we're going to start with our steamer. And you want to put fresh water for each guest. I do not reuse water on any guest. I use fresh water for each person. I clean it out and I put distilled water in it only or purified water. Or if I'm out, I will use spring water. But do not use regular tap water. And only fill to that water line that I showed you. Don't overfill. Because if you do, you can risk burning the client. Because the steamer will like kind of spritz out, spurt out water, hot water. And you do not want that. So you're just going to make sure that's on there secure. This part is very important. Because if it's not, it'll leak. <laughs> You'll be leaking hot water or... It'll spurts out hot water. So you want to make sure this seal, <coughs> pardon me, which I'm going to show you next right here. Yeah, so the seal, you want to make sure you can see this part is sealed all the way around completely. And then the bottom insert, like the little, yeah, the part that holds the bottom of the glass jar, you want to make sure it's perfectly in there you turn it on and then whatever you're going to use mine has high frequency and also the brush machine so you it would go in you know these little modules yeah and then you just prep it to the position you want last but not least we're going to start prepping our workstation or work cart or tray whatever it is that you use of course we're starting out with my all-time favorite holy grails i've talked about this many times before it is a dental bib that's what they're called um i love them because <laughs> they like layered so anything that gets on them for one they're sanitary and for two um it doesn't leak like it would like say if you're using like a paper towel or something it does not leak through so they are perfect for easy cleanup and being sanitary. And then I just take out what I'm using. I keep a few of my little tools in this little pouch. And so I'm going to use the silicone one today. And then this is a, we call it the mummy mask. <laughs> it's what I called it in school. Um, and you use it for mask or you can use it for a shield if you're doing high frequency. Um, it's just, I love it. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the disposable sponges. I love, love, love these. I have switched over to them from using the 4x4s and I love them so much. And you're going to grab you some exfoliating cotton rounds. You're going to grab you some 2x2s. You're going to grab you some 4x4s, some lip wands. Whatever tools you use in your facial that you know that you need, this is the time to grab them like your bowl I mean you're gonna always need a bowl so I love the stainless steel bowl for my water and then I'll grab universal products that I know I'm gonna use on every client like this sunscreen from Circadia this Aveda um, recovery serum and some toning mist from Aveda as well um, I don't always use these I switch it up I have different universal products this is just what I wanted to use today and yeah, you, you pick your specific products for that client. 
you use this tray I find that it's helpful because it helps a lot with portion control you're not overusing on each client and it's more sanitary than having having to go into each bottle so definitely continue to use this little tray you can find them in like the supply or color section and Target Walmart stores like that and you just put all your products on that um, I typically wait to use to pick my products um, that I'm using when I go through my consultation with a client because I don't necessarily know what they need and then I'll add the products also put your ultrasonic scrubber if you use that your extraction tools whatever you're gonna use specifically for things like that like tools you may need and yeah you um, get your consultation um, forms and consent forms ready and last but not least put a peppermint in your mouth sis we don't want bad breath <laughs> this is an old video but i'm just showing you what the vibes are the vibes be on point y'all